So hello everyone and I'll soon start this next meeting. I think there's been a slight mistake. I, while setting up this meeting, I enabled something called as enabled meeting room. Waiting room rather. So it's 4 p.m. and I'll start very soon. I just want to make sure everyone's able to join because apparently there is a, a waiting room. So before I start, I'll just ask a quick question. Does anyone have any doubts about what we did last time? Okay, so I will start this meeting and let me just go over to the Jupyter Notebook. So this is where we were yesterday. So we saw how we can use pandas, rather the pandas apply method to be able to calculate and also to be able to cal perform calculations on our data frame and also to do other things like for example generally to do even querying so for example we had done how we can calculate the redundant we can extract the, re the repeated duplicate values in a data frame using the apply method so here i'll just stop for a minute does anyone have any doubts about what i did I think there has been a slight problem. I'm not able to open the meeting link. Can anyone see on the meeting link if there's still a waiting room? I think we can't see the waiting room. Okay. I know it was a default. Usually I uncheck it. I think yesterday I forgot to uncheck. Anyway, I just, this time I got a pop-up saying somebody was waiting. So if that is the case, that'll be good. Otherwise, the person just have to view the recording online, I suppose. Anyway, so I will get started. So before we, I look at the only other major function that I want to talk about is the group by method. So before I start with that, just a question, does anyone have any other thing, thoughts about any other challenges that you can do, just queries like this, or using the apply method, or do you want a clarification with the apply method? I have a doubt with the apply method. Yeah. So uh, yesterday you told that when doing such a query, we have to put the axis equal to one in the apply method. Mm -hmm. The help, uh, the help for apply says that axis equal to one goes through the columns. So I'm not understanding how that works over here. Okay. So. Okay. Actually, I forgot to import. So let me just go up and do that quickly. I don't want to type for no rhyme or reason. So I'll just do it and then answer. Oh my God, let me just type it. Okay. Import numpy as np. Import pandas as pd and then i'm just say video df is equal to i have to wait for this to execute pd dot d pd dot read csv data sets I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Video game 
same sales. Let me just check if everything is okay. Okay, we are okay. So now, to answer your question, let us suppose we take two of these columns. So let's say I'll say name. Actually, I need to put this name closing. Name and year. All right. So if I do this, I get a data frame of just these two columns, right, with the same indices. So it's the same 16,598 rows, but with these two columns only. So now I'm going to use the apply method, right? So if you use the apply method, right, and here, let me just define a function, define some func that takes x, and let's say print type of x right so i'm going to pass this function into apply so i'm applying what it does is it applies some func to every row of what we get all right now the problem here is as i said if i execute this you will get not a data frame right so even though we are passing a data frame it is when you actually print out the type of this argument, you see that it is not saying data frame. Right? The reason what is happening is it is taking the column name as one series and it is taking the year as another series and it is give, getting a compound object. It is giving this kind of a compound object. Right? The reason is because when axis is zero, this applying method looks only through the rows. That's it, right? Even if you pass a data frame, it doesn't care. It just looks through the rows. Now for each row, then it goes and sees that you are giving me two values. So it then takes two, it takes each one as a series, right? So the problem is even though we are passing a data frame, we are now getting some kind of a compound object which is not that easy to deal with. Now, when you say axis is equal to one, now you get a number of series. You don't get just two, right? Let me just go, let me put this in a separate one. Let me type axis is equal to zero here to be explicit and let's type axis is equal to one here to be explicit. Now, if you see here, you see, I am getting a number of print statements. And if you actually look, you'll see these are 16,598, right? The reason for this is because now when you say apply, the axis is one. So first it starts looking along the columns. Right, so it takes the first row or the zeroth row, looks along the columns, takes both of these columns, passes it to the function, then goes to the next row and the next row. So each one is a series. So you could say axis is like look in the okay, this is the first direction that pandas must look in. If axis is equal to zero, the first direction is the rows. If axis is equal to one, the first direction of search is the columns. Does that answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Sure. Any other doubt? Okay, so in case there are no other doubts, what we look at is we look at another thing which is called as the group by method, right? So before we look at the group by method or rather let me look at the group by method and then I'll show you we can talk about lambda functions. So maybe we'll talk first about group by method since we are into this. Let's go back and let's look at name, right? And we saw up till now 
that the unique number in name is much lesser than the total number of rows of the data frame, right? So we had concluded that there were several repetitions and we even extracted the number of repetitions, right? Now, the next question you might ask is, what if I want to find out for those repetitions, right? For those names that are, those games that are being repeated, can we find a mean value for each and every one of them? So let me write out this challenge to tell you what exactly I want to do. For all the games that are repeated, or rather we can just say for all games, even those that are repeated, can we give just one value for sales, right? So what this means is, if it is repeated, repetition, take the mean. No repetition stays as it is. All right. This is what we want to do. Right? Because if there are repetitions, you would like to say, okay, tell me what is the mean value, something of that sort. Now, we will start with the what we will start with this value, but there might be a small problem because remember we had some NANs. So first we will run it and we will examine the result and if necessary we'll fill the not NAN value using the fill, fill NA method. But first let me talk about what we are trying to do. So first let's talk about the group by method. What this means is you're grouping by, right? So Let's go ahead and look into the group by help. So this is what it is. You see, there is the group by method acting on a data frame. There is the argument by is equal to some value. Access is equal to zero by default. And there are several others, right? But the most important thing is you see by when you specify by and here by means an, a column. So it can be a label or anything what it does is this function is called on each value of the objects index right now supposing for example i say name so what i'm saying is take this data frame and group it by all the names in this data frame right now what will you do the result of this is a group by object data frame group by object right so what it does is it takes all the unique values of names in this column because whichever you specify by right it will take it in that column and it will combine those rows together to produce groups of rows with the same name okay now let me be a little let me tell you what it is the problem is even though you use group by nothing happens so you see you just get an object why because when you do group by, it separates the, it can say it segregates the data frame into groups of rows. Okay, groups of rows. But you need to tell it to do something to those groups in order to be able to see some results. So, for example, let's suppose I say mean. Right? So, what I'm saying is group by names. So, what it means is take all the unique values of the names group them separately and for each group give me the mean now if i say this what happens this is what you get all right now you see the results are very weird right and the only most important thing you see here here you see the number 11493 right and this 11493 is exactly the same as this 11493. So what it has actually done, all right, what it has done is it has grouped all these games, right, by their name, and it has taken for each and every column, right, which is possible, because remember, mean can only be calculated for numeric values. So for example, for things like, uh, let me just go up, 
for things like platform and gender and publisher, it won't be able to do anything. The reason is because they are strings. You can't calculate a mean on a string. So for those which are numeric values, it has taken the average of all those repetitions. So let me just, now the problem, you see the problem here. The problem is it is very different. And the reason why it's very different is because this is now grouped in descending order of something else, right? It is totally different. So let me go and find out another way to do this. Let me, as I said, you can always sort. Supposing I do a sort value, right? And here again, if you look at the help, I don't know why my help is disabled for some reason, but if I sort according to North America sales, and I say ascending is equal to false, I will get exactly the same kind of structure which I got before. So let me just go and show you what that means. Video DF dot head. And you see, it's exactly the same structure because this is ranked according to, actually it's ranked according to global sales, but North America sales is also reflective of it. So you see here, WI sports. So look at what's happening here. It is giving me 11493 rows and it is only giving the unique values of the name. And for all the numeric columns, it is calculating the mean. So now here I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna ask if anyone has any doubts. So by using this method, actually what is happening that I'm not getting? Can so, please tell like we said first, what we saw was if we see this, this, this video DF, we saw that there are 16,598 rows, right? Now, the unique values of the name is only 11,493. 11, 11, so what that means is around 5,000 5, values are repetitions. 5,000 rows in just the name are repetitions, which means some games have been repeated again and again and again in several rows. So we saw this also in the previous lecture where we were trying to extract the duplicated rows. Now the question is, supposing for example, you say all these duplicate rows, right? There are around 5,000 duplicate rows. Supposing the challenge is, can we just give one number for each and every unique game? So what that means is if a game appears five times, don't give me five rows. Give me one row with the average of all of them. Okay, that is what I want to do. Now, when you do something like that, then what you do is you use the group by method. So when you say group by, you can specify any column or list of columns and we'll see that also. You can specify any column and when it sees a column, what it does is it looks for the unique values of this, this column, right? So all the unique values of names, it separates them out and it creates separate groups. That is what it does, group by. Now, you can now chain another method like mean, right? So if you chain mean, you will see that this gives for each and every uniquely appearing game, one mean value for all the other columns because remember we have not specified which column we want to extract which means any numeric column it calculates the mean is it obvious from the first row of uh, output 15 and first row of output okay for example let me just do this let me take this one And let me take group by count. Now, if you see the count, you will see that it is counting the number of rows, right? Now, here you see what it has done. It is 
arranging it automatically in an ascending order. So as before, if we want, we can do a sort by. So we can just say sort values by is equal to, uh, let's say rank, or no, let's say word node, global saves. Here, remember when you're counting, you are only doing, at least ascending is equal to false. We are counting the number of rows or the number of appearances rather. So you see here, this is, these are the rows which are appearing, this is appearing 12 times, nine times, right? And several. So you see, this is very similar to what we found in our previous query when we were trying to use the duplicate, the value counts better, right? So here you can use any, any function such as count or anything else in order to perform your query. So does this answer your question? Yeah, 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 got it, got it. Is there any other doubt? So it's important to understand that we can always separate the number of columns we want. So like for example, actually let me take the mean one because mean is better. So if we take mean, you see that you get a huge number of rows. Now there are some which are useless. For example, there is no use finding out the mean of rows there is no use of finding out the mean of rank, right? What we need are sales, that's it. So what you can do is you can actually restrict after this, how many columns you want to calculate the mean for. So for example, I can say NA sales, EU sales, and let's say I just say global sales. And I just say mean. So you see now what it has done. It has taken only, we are taking the group by, after the group by, we are extracting only three columns. And we are calculating the mean of only these three columns. Right? So after this, we can do another query that is sort values and again say, actually, when times like these, you can just you can go to the next line. Oh. I think I have to put this. Yeah, so in Python, you got to put, if you're continuing to the next line, you have to put this slash. Right? because that means it is continued because in Python, there's no need for a semicolon. So therefore it says it is, this is ended abruptly. So you see what we're getting here. We have got pretty much the same kind of data frame, but this time we are getting only the North America sales, EU sales, global sales, the mean of these. And very important to remember, when you do group by the data frame, now you see the index has changed. The index are the unique values of whatever you specify here. All right. So for example, let us, I'll just take this, I'll give it another name. So let's say for example, video game average sales, right? So let me give it a value and let's say head. You see, this is what we get. And we can also say info. Exactly, because remember, this is a data frame. And if it's a data frame, all the same functions can work, right? So you see here, this says that it has 11,493 rows and these are the columns, right? 
Now, at the same time, we can also look at the index. For example, if you see the index, you see the index is basically all the unique values, unique names of the games. So here I'll stop for a minute. Does anyone have any doubt? So for example, now let me just go back and let me take this one and let me give it another name because I want to show you something else. Video TF name. All right. So I am assigning this to a variable. So I'm just do grouping by name and I'm applying it to a variable. So now I can do whatever I want to this variable. Right. So let me copy it. Now, supposing I use the same method as before, I can use max instead. Instead of taking the mean, I am taking the max. Just trying to see why is the error here. Oh, I think the reason is because we have some NANs. That's probably the reason why. Yeah, the reason I think we have to first deal with the NANs. So this is something we'll do very soon. We'll first fill them, fill the NANs and go ahead. But first we'll play around a little with this group by because I would like to show you a few other things. Now, let us suppose you see here, this is our new data frame. Right. So let me again do a sort values because these names are not very nice. It's better to start with All right. So this is the usual one we saw, right? Now we have grouped all of them according to name. Okay. Now the question I'll ask for you, can we group this even further? For example, supposing for example, there are all these years, right? And we saw that the minimum value of this year, so let me just give it another name. Video, uh, let's say second group, I'll just call it second group for now, right? So this is second group. now. Let me look at the head. Now, I'll ask a question for you. Is, do you think it is possible to group this even further? So for example, let's take this and see the year. You see the year is, the minimum value of the year is 1980. And we have also seen the maximum year is 220, 2020, right? So now my question is, in all these 40 years, do you think it is possible to group by each year and find out the mean sales in a particular year? Do you think that is worthwhile doing? All right, so I'll just write out the challenge. Further group according to year and calculate mean sales per year. Can you can anyone guess how we'll do this? Yeah, uh, we can run the query on uh, video second group uh, with the group by as here and then uh, invoke the mean function. 
Yeah, absolutely correct. So I'll just show you what, what he said. So basically what we have to do is we have to say group by, and in this case, we have to specify our group by column to be year. Because remember, we have, it is actually float, but it's really speaking integer. We have values from 1980 to 2020. Now we can pick out the unique values. There will be 40 unique values from 1980 or maximum 40 because there may be some years missing. But we will pick out the unique years, group by all the games according to that unique year, and separate these games out into year. And for every year, we'll run the mean function. So let's do that. Group by year. And then we have to say mean. Always remember, if you do just this, you'll get a group by method. Group by, because you have not told it what to do after group. First, you must group, then you must run a function on that group. So then we can write mean. And this gives us the mean sales per year. So you see, 1980, 153. Right? Now, of course, there are some mistakes, and the reason is because we took mean. Right, and when you took mean, there were some rows, there were some years also that got uh, fraction, which is wrong. Right, that's the reason why it's 153. So, to correct this, what we can actually do is we can change our definition of video second group. So, for example, what we can say is we have to now what we have to do, we have to run the mean method. But we need all the rows. All right. So let's look at how we can do this. We can, this mean will group all of them according to a certain mean. Right. Now, how will we extract or rather skip some columns? Right. Now, this is a good question. So you see, does anyone have, I think I might be running out of time. So before we continue, does anyone have any doubts about what we did? I hope this is clear. The only thing where we messed up is because we had taken the mean of everything. See, remember, video second group was mean of all columns, right? And there's no point doing the mean of all columns because we don't want to calculate the mean of all columns. We want to only calculate the mean of some columns, right? Now, again, this is again, we will talk about this soon. So here, question for all of you is, how would we then exclude some columns from the mean. Now, remember, if I ex exclude the columns here, right? That is, if I exclude the columns here itself, then you lose that column completely. So I'll give you an example of what I'm saying. Let's say I say, let's say I just say North America sales and global sales just to reduce my typing. Global sales. And let me just see what is video second group. So now you see video second group has only two, right? But the problem is I have lost the year information, right? Because I excluded, I took only two data frames from the data from the group by object. This is the group by object where I'm grouping by the name. After that, I'm extracting two columns, North America sales, global sales. And then I'm running a mean, and then I'm sorting it, right? But I have lost the year information. So I'll stop for a minute. Does anyone have any doubt? Any doubt?
So what are we going to do in order to keep our year, but not put it into the mean function? This is the main challenge. All right. So for that, what I would say is this, this is what we'll do. We will write a custom function rather than just use the mean. All right. So let's go and try, try that out. Let us go copy this. And let's call it video third group just for the sake of it, because I lose all my third group. Now here, let us take the entire thing, but let us write our own method, right? Now let's call here the method diff and here let us, let us write, what do we want to write? Calc mean year and let's call it x all right so what we're going to do we're going to pass calculate mean year into the function right as before remember we are passing a data frame so when we are passing a data frame we must specify axis is equal to one okay now does anyone have any doubts about what i'm doing So first and foremost, let us print what we get, right? Let's just print it out. Let me see what we've got in it. I'm just trying to see what this error is because I didn't expect this error. Oh, okay. The reason is because I need to extract all of them as a data frame. All right. So you see what, what actually happened? What actually happened was that this video DF name is a group by object, right? It is not a data frame. I cannot apply this method directly to a group by object. See, for example, if I say what is video DF, just video DF name, I get a group by object. You cannot apply a function like you cannot apply a function directly to a group by object. You can apply it to a data frame. So I need to cast this as a data frame, right? Does anyone have any doubts about what happened here? Okay, so we are almost out of time. So I'm just going to try to quickly solve this so that we can continue. So I was just out of this, I'm going to select a number of rows. The reason is because all we need are, we have to convert it to a data frame. So one way to convert it to a data frame is to select a number of columns. So what I will say, NA sales, this meeting might end abruptly. So if it does, we shall meet next time. So if we do this, now it is strange. Why should it be here? Okay, let me just delete it. I think something wrong is happening. So if I see what is video third group, let me just see. Oh, I now see what is happening. What is happening is that even if I, ex I must run some function in order to be on this, in order to be able to convert it to a group by method. And the problem is I'm not running anything, right? This is what is the problem. So again, I'm out of time. So rather than trying to like give you some vague idea, let us end this meeting.